Good morning, everybody. So I thought I'd start this video off with my food choices. Okay, so I think the last time we talked, I was going to the grocery store, walking. I went and got my nails done, stuff like that. So look at that last video. So now I'm going to show you just a few items that I got. Nothing big because I'm only going to show you when I do try new stuff or if I cook a meal, something like that. It's not that, you know, this is not a food channel, but you know my journey. If you're watching my videos, how I eat just side dishes, that's it. And so let me show you some stuff that I got. First of all, I got my protein shake because since I only eat sides, I have to make sure that I get all the protein I can. So this is the 50, it's got 50 superfoods in it and 21 grams of plant protein. Uh, five grams of probiotic and fiber and just one gram of sugar that's the vanilla bean that's in it and it's a plant-based protein so it's not just a regular protein and I got this from Whole Foods so that's for my protein just for anybody who's like well if you don't eat that how do you get your protein and I get it from eggs as well and nuts and my favorite I don't know if I've told y'all about my favorite nuts I can't remember, but the Omega-3 Trail Mix from Walmart, it is my all-time favorite. It is the only trail mix I eat. It has um, dried, okay, wait a minute, dried sweetened cranberries, walnuts, pap papitas, which is sunflower seeds, almonds, and pecans. It's got them all in there, and I bound by it. I, every time I go, I get at least two bags because I'm scared of them running out. This is my all-time favorite. Uh, I have a new Gatorade. Y'all know I drink the Gatorade. This can be a sub, not a substitute in addition to. So, drinking your water is most important for your body. But sometimes you get tired of just drinking water. So, I always get give y'all a substitute. This zero... Um, calorie well if you drink the whole thing is 10 just 10 calories and zero sugar and this one is strawberry kiwi cold and i drink my water room temperature i never drink cold water but i like the gatorade cold it's so good this could be a substitute in between your water and of course i got plenty of lemon and limes good lemon lime water and um i got some kiwi very good for you i got that also let's see my favorite cheese and yes i do eat cheese i'm not a vegan and i do eat cheese i only eat mozzarella feta or gouda and this extra sharp sergino um cheese that's it. If you're going to drink milk, drink oat milk. So this is a good kind. The Chobone. Chobone. Chobone? I don't know, child. Oat, zero sugar, and um, plain. I don't, don't get nothing with no flavor. Get this. If you're going to put something in your coffee or if you're going to drink it. I don't drink milk of no kind straight. Even when before I turned from regular whole milk, which I haven't drunk in, I don't know, so many years, 24 maybe. Um, I never did like it like that. I ate it in cereal, but then I stopped even eating it in cereal. So use this instead. Oh, my all time favorite guys. This one and let me show you the spinach one, but first let me show you this one. This is the Cheese Lovers, um, Tortellini, tortellino, tortellini. I love this. And the ones that's the spinach is the best. But they had these buy one, get one free. So, uh, yeah. Bargain. So, yeah, these. Let me show you the spinach one. So... 
this is the spinach so it's the spinach one it's the, the um the tortellini is spinach instead of just your regular it's the spinach one which is more healthier but still i'm gonna cook this and i'm gonna show you on the next vlog this with my peppers and put some um some cheese over top oh it's just ridiculous oh my gosh i'm telling you try this so good it's stuffed with cheese so delicious okay so something else that's really good get you some cabbage you know we eat cabbage what certain times of the year i don't know why but get you some shredded cabbage find ones that's already shredded and then you can fry this up with you some if you like onions and peppers in it or however you want to cook it put you do the vegetable uh broth in it and then cook you up some cabbage honey so delicious especially if you get it already shredded really good so let me put the refrigerator stuff back oh yeah and get you some blueberries this right here get you some blueberries cut you a banana up which i didn't get my banana so i'm mad some bananas up and this blueberries and uh put you a little honey on it and some whipped cream the raw honey the good honey the honey that doesn't have a lot in it this is make a perfect dessert okay you know i always got an indulgence right because what is life without having an indulgence in something one time or another so i found this whole lemon fig marmalade and you know marmalade um it's not like jelly so it's 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 a little sweeter well not corn syrup sweet so let me say that but it's still an indulgence either way but let me tell you what it's got in it it has um oh and you you eat it with cheese or if you eat meat with pork or you put it over ice cream i put it i make um and I'm gonna make that for you next week too. So I promise in the vlog next week, you'll have some tortellini. I'm gonna show you that. And I'm gonna show you where I do my mozzarella cheese, my olives that I like, which I haven't got any. I'm gonna have to go get some. And these little um, toasted bread that I eat and this right here. Perfect, perfect lunch. Um, so let me tell you what it's got in it. It has figs lemon juice orange peel um and that's it and of course sugar so the sugar is what makes it sweet and so this has to be an indulgence you can't you can't eat this every day that's for sure all right so that was my food that i got from the um that i got from when i went grocery shopping so let me tell you a few things that's happened this weekend um you saw in the beginning of the vlog i showed you um me going to the movies because i told you i was going to the movies as well so i went to the movies i went to see death on the nile if you like murder mysteries then you would like that it was a pretty good movie and I went out to eat. I showed you the restaurants, the outfit I had on. So you saw that. Um, I hope you enjoyed that in the beginning. And let's see. Oh, and then this morning you see where I went to the gym. So let's see. As always, I got some packages. So let's go. Okay, so I got some packages. So I decided to come into my living room and open the packages up um let me show you what i have on right now before i open the packages and also look at this um here's a little preview of how i start getting stuff together for any of the instagram uh, outfits i put together or if i have uh something that i'm going to 
style like yesterday you should have seen the video where i styled up work black work pants so here is a sneak peek of what i'm gonna wear all next week for instagram i'm gonna take all the pictures already because i tr i'm training right now so it's a lot that i'm doing so i don't have time to put this together and film it so i put it together way in advance and let me show you what i'm wearing so let me see if i can get it. so this is my moo moo oh i just love it let me see if i can get closer for you to see at least the um oh, oh. <laughs> sorry guys so this is my moo moo and um i just love the design on it it's so comfortable and you know they come one size fit all so they be huge but to me it feels so good walking around in it i'm put together if someone comes at the door but yet and still i'm very very relaxed and I know some people wear it out, but that's not why I buy them. I buy them to walk around the house in, and I just love it. All right, so let me show you a few things that I've gotten in. I'm going to unbox some. Some I haven't even opened. So first, let me start off with, if you saw my video yesterday, guys, <laughs> I rushed through that video to get something up for you. For the, uh, you never believe that those outfits been sitting in my house for like two weeks. And I had to rush to get it out for Saturday. I look a mess, but hey, that is, it's naturally what you get. If you want who I am, that's who I am, okay? So, um, I tried to make sure that I was at least put together a little bit today with my, I have my natural hair out before I twist it up. It's washed, conditioned, and, um... The shrinkage is real. Um, okay, so you already saw my glasses, really. So I'm gonna put right here the company where it came from, Amazon. You already seen them in the styling uh, video. They all come with pouches, and there are five of them. Now, the one I didn't show yesterday was these. These I really love. So these are they're blackout, but they are good for the computer because I can see everything. It's just a, a dimness to it so that it doesn't look as bright. The computer doesn't look as bright. Guys, I did not expect this in this package uh, because I was like, I ordered reader glasses. Why y'all give me some shades? So when I go out somewhere, you're going to be in the sun. You can wear these and see clearly. But with just a, like somebody just dimmed the lights. I'm telling you, these glasses are worth the price if you are, if you get reading glasses. Guys, I'm telling you, go get this. I just love it. I, I, I'm going to go up there and see if they have other colors so I can get it. Because you know, these companies, they be going out of business all fast. So I want to make sure that I can like really stock up on the glasses. Um, let me see what else. Did y'all get y'all uh, government? I say government because I think that's who we got them from. The health department, your rapid COVID test. Child, I got mine and you know, you get two per, um, I think it's two per household or four, I don't know. But I got the one with two. Child, I'm so scared to take these things. Okay. I'm gonna put it up my nose like this. Okay, it's fine enough because this, this ain't right. So, but you're supposed to go up in there. So, you know, I need somebody that's gonna go up in there because I can't, I, I'm, I'm just like, please don't get sick because if I gotta take this thing, I, I know in order for it to work properly like it's supposed to, it's supposed to go all the way up there. And they say they wanted to give everybody these because they knew everybody was not going to do it right and everybody will test negative and then go and work and then we just start spreading it again. I'm telling you, it's, it's a conspiracy. But anyway, if I take it, I'm going to try to do it right. Let me know if you got yours as well. All right. So next, I went to Nordstrom's. This was another day. It ain't even the day that or the mall you're going to see next week. But I didn't film it. But I went to Nordstrom's. Um, 
Matter of fact, I went there the day of the movies because um, we had time to kill. So, you know, what do anybody want to do? Go window shopping, right? But you know me, I still pick something out. So first thing is these rings. I just love it. I'm kind of into the big rings now. So you're going to be seeing me wear those. I just feel like wearing bigger rings. And I like sets like this as well, but not trying to pay a whole lot of money for it. Isn't that just so pretty? So I got that. And... You know I love my hoops. So I got these with a set of three. Okay, let's look at these hoops. So this one looks like a rope to me, like a um some type of rope belt. You ever seen those belts that have a rope like this? And then this one looks like it's just embellished, but it's not. And then this one looks like a chain. Isn't it nice? These were just $12.97. And it's from Merrow's in Market. I, oh, these are nice. These are going to look really nice in the summer. And the rings are also by Mel, Melrose in Market as well. And then I got these are uh, also from Melrose in Market. I said, let me get from around these because they just taking all my money. Look at these hoops. They also look like chains, but they got little hearts in the middle. Just like these Walmart ones I got on. Y'all know I done fell in love with these um, Walmart. Just like these Amazon ones I got on. Y'all know I done fell in love with these, right? These $8.99 earrings. Do they not look nice? And I had on one of my outfits yesterday. Uh, in the in the um, the styling thing, and it went so. Uh, I hope they last a little bit because I'm. I, I don't want to order any and then it sit there and turn colors or something. I will wait, but I'm hoping it lasts. But these right here are cute too because it's got that and it's got the little um, the heart in the middle, and I think that is really nice. Oh, and while I was there, I also got a beauty item. I got the Pro Concealer, uh, the Pro Concealer by LA Girl. And, you know, it's the highlighted concealer. I just, you don't never have enough concealers to me. Because you, I don't know, when I put my makeup on, and y'all know I dabble in makeup. I don't know any enough for anybody to say, yeah, follow her. But I know what I like. And sometimes I like putting on different kinds of concealers. So to me you should have a variety of concealers so i got that as well okay so that's everything i got from nordstrom so you know that i'm always buying i told y'all that i do online um uh thrift as well but i usually be up there looking for all my vintage stuff because you know i i don't see no vintage stuff really good like i want here uh, in the area that I'm in. So I got something that I bid it for online. So I thought I'd show it to you. Y'all remember this, right? So. So it came in this package. And it says, thank you for your order. And um, I will put her Instagram here. So in case you ever want to join the live and see what really goes on, I'll start showing you what I get when I uh, get stuff from live as well. And sharing who it is. And her name is Lifestyles by Stella. Um, but her Instagram, I put it up there. Look at this. Uh, I got a another this is a mumu this is a kimono so look at this guys first of all look at this beautiful green and pink looks like a watermelon color look at this this is so nice and it comes with the belt and it is a vintage kimono. Look at this. Now, of course, 
having it on with this, you know, it doesn't look right. But imagine this on in the spring and the summer and have some cute little, uh, some cute little dress on under it. Something, it, you can have something long and flowing if you want, or you can have something short on and some green heels or some pink heels or some white heels and you have this on and you like yeah baby mm-hmm this is what i'm wearing look and it's got pockets i probably would never wear the belt because i don't know if i belt to me when you belt it up it reminds me too much of a robe so uh or have on a nice beautiful uh to me, one piece, cause honey, this is not gonna have a two piece on. A one piece and have this on on vacation. Yes, honey, I love it. And then the color is nothing but the truth. The green and the pink. Mm. I really can see this in a, with a white bathing suit for some reason. So that is my kimono. Let me get this trash so I can get all that. Sorry guys, I can't, I gotta get this all together. So when I take it up fast, I can take it all at once. I'm gonna save this for last. Okay, so you, uh, in my last vlog, I told you that I was waiting on one more package from H&M and it didn't arrive in time. So let me show you that. Um, the first thing is this beautiful, long maxi dress. I, for some reason, I feel like this spring into summer when it's, you know, I just want to wear dresses. I want to wear skirts and dresses and I just want to feel free and flowing. And I, I just, I, some of them I don't mind fitting, like this is fitted. So I just love the sleeves how I know it's gonna come all the way down my arms. I love it when it hits just right there at the um, wrist. And the color is beautiful, it's long. And I just think this is gonna be so pretty. So you'll see this when, and look at this guys. Look at the, I like the way it's ruched inside. That'll make you look smaller. And then look, in, in the middle, this part opens but you will have this part over your body, but it lets, like the stomach is kind of loose a little bit. So you could be flowing, honey. You ain't got to worry about it, but you know, I'm gonna have my little thing on under here. So I won't be looking too crazy, but you'll see me style this in my spring uh, lookbook that I'm gonna do. That's gonna be my next styling thing, styling for spring. And this is one of the outfits that I'm gonna wear. So let's hope I look okay in it. Um, the next thing I got was these jeans uh, from the men's department. They are the relaxed fit from the men's section. And I wanted some very oversized jeans, but I wanted them with the holes right there at the knee. Nothing ever is at the knee. It's gonna be at my whole leg. Um, and it has it on this side too, so I'm gonna style this. I have so many looks I wanna wear this with. I love the distressed look. I think it looks so nice, but I like the distressed look when it, the jeans look bigger on you, but then you got something really pretty on top, a blazer, a long, um, I have an idea in my head that I'm gonna wear for my shoot next week. So you will see these jeans and it'll remind you, be like, oh yeah, she said she was gonna wear those and they are oversized and beautiful. And I cannot wait to wear them. All right, last thing to unbox. So you know I'm all about treating yourself, being good to you and I'm all about you, okay? so. For my birthday, I decided that um, I wanted to buy uh, these earrings that I was looking for. So I got them on the um, secondhand market. You know, it was Vestiaire. I will bid up there and search 
all the time so I wanted some gem earrings ones with gems in it so I haven't seen it I haven't unboxed it so yeah I treated myself next year I will treat myself to a trip I don't know where I'm going yet but it'll be somewhere and you're gonna join me all right I ain't gonna have to bust that open so can't wait because I have not seen them okay so they came in the vestiaire pouch uh, these are vintage earrings they are Givenchy and they this comes on it so if you leave this on you can return it um, but I'll inspect it right now while I'm looking at you. But look at this, guys. You see the gems going all the way around it? The, uh, I, I, I have to, let me open. Let me open one. Take one off. Never. So it's gemstones all the way around the earring. And um, they are clip, well, yeah, clip-ons. Um, they are they have the I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but they have the Givenchy um, Stamp on it and they are from the 80s and oh, The details The details around it and the gems. It is just so Beautiful and the back of the ear has that the white thing so that it won't hurt your ear this is so nice and if it's sturdy it feels good i am so glad that i got these i am so glad that i got these and they took the offer for them so that is my birthday present to myself because I'm worth it. Okay, so oh, that's the end of the unboxing. I am going to now, before I get ready, because I'm going uh, a few places and to the mall, so you'll probably see that footage next week. But um, let's go upstairs because I figured you'll help me clean out my jewelry while we have our talk of the day. Okay, so I'm up in the bathroom where I keep my jewelry box. So let me show it to you. So this is my jewelry box. So on this side and this side is in glass and you can put your necklaces. And then you see it has drawers where you can store things. And also you can store stuff on top and it has a mirror as well. So it's a very nice jewelry box very well made heavy and i got it from the thrift store somebody else's trash so while i'm going through my jewelry thing going through and putting all my jewelry away that i'm storing every single place it is kind of ridiculous i wanted to talk to you because you know i like to give you a little talk we have a little conversation before i end the vlog and I want to talk to you today because I was feeling some kind of way. Okay, so I was writing in my blog and I was talking about, you know, how us women, how we feel, right? So, um, and this is in case any men are out there who happen to stumble upon my page as well. And you wonder why, why is it that we, me and my significant other, we have a good relationship. We we do things together. We you know we taking care of the kids. We we take care of each other. You know I'm there to listen. And sometimes, just sometimes, she's quiet like out of nowhere. And if I try to talk to her about it, it just seems like she's distant. Well, let me tell you about what I can only speak for me. You know, ladies, we get to the point where we try to figure out what's the problem, what's wrong. And we feel so alone, not lonely, alone. 
and we're trying to figure out why is it that we feel alone? I mean, my significant other, my husband, my boyfriend, my girlfriend, whatever it is, your, the, your loved one is right next to you and you get this thought and this feeling and all of a sudden you feel alone. Well, let me tell you my experience. Mines usually come along when I start feeling, uh, I'm going to take you from the get beginning, right? So as children, we have someone that takes care of us, right? So we go from infant to our children's shoes. I'm going to do the analogy of shoes. So we have our children's shoes. So when we put our children's shoes on, someone's taking care of us. And the older we become, we can become a little more independent, right? So um, the shoes could change. Uh, and then the shoes can become, you know, maybe tennis shoes, dress shoes, whatever type of shoes we like. If you are nurtured and you are taken care of, you grow in your shoes. You grow into those shoes. Then you become a teenager. So you outgrew your children's shoes and you become a teenager. So now you have your teenager shoes on. Well, um, everybody's path as a teenager, and I'm talking about from the age of 13 to 18. Everybody's path of a teenager is not everybody's. It's not the same. Some of our shoes become damaged really early. And some of our shoes, we grow into them as a teenager. And some of us become mothers, okay? So we become mothers by the time we're 18. So we switch from teenage shoes to grown shoes, okay? Adult shoes. Now these shoes are big because we haven't outgrown our teenage shoes yet. So we didn't jump from teenage shoes to adult shoes. We never grew out of those teenage shoes, so now these adult shoes are huge, okay? We flopping around because these shoes don't fit. Okay, so let's take you from 18 to 25, okay? So that's when you're a young adult. That's when you find yourself, right? You think you know everything at 13. You think you know everything at 18, and then you become a young adult. Okay, so maybe you got pregnant when you was a young adult. You got pregnant. You got married soon. You went into a serious relationship. And you, or or, or you, um, that, that could be your path, right? So you have your young adult shoes on. You grew out of the teenage shoes. You made it. You went into the young adult. And then... In that young adult stage when you were trying to find yourself and really learn about life and go out there and put your foot in the water, job, career, school, trade, whatever you were going to do to find out who you were during that time frame, you got those adult shoes. Now, the young adult shoes are not as big as the adult shoes. Okay, that's that time you could play, right? You could find out who you are. You can see what have 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 friends and relationships that aren't serious because you're trying to focus on who you are and what you need. But still, you can party. You can have fun. You can have. You can even have a boyfriend. You. But the focus should be on you. Or you can have a girlfriend. It could be a guy. But right now, I am talking about my women. Okay? Right now, I'm talking about my women. Next time, I'll talk about the guys. Because y'all be, some of y'all women be treating these men wrong too. But I'll talk about that another time. Right now, I'm talking about my women. So, you got those adult shoes. I call them grown folk shoes. You went from young adult trying to find yourself to you either, like I said, got pregnant, got in a serious relationship, got married, did all this because 
you think what you want or you was irresponsible, whichever way you got in them shoes, honey, they steal your shoes. Okay. So you got no shoes. And then now you're trying to figure out, oh, Lord, now I got a child to take care of, a man to take care of that's just like a child. Now I didn't got into this serious relationship. I didn't got married. I didn't accumulated all this stuff. Now I have these big adult shoes on and I still not, I have not grown into my young adult shoes. I went straight for the adult shoes, which is biggest shoes there are. So us as women, we wear those shoes, okay? We stuff what we need to in those shoes and make it fit. We block out everything that, because these shoes is what I'm wearing now. I'm going to wear these shoes. I'm flopping around in them. And every now and then I try to stuff them with something so that I won't look like I'm all over the place or I won't look like I'm falling because I can't wear these shoes. And then we do it, right? We, we put years into making our shoes fit. Now don't forget, they're not our natural shoes because we never grew into them. So even though we might, and I'm not talking about the damaged ones, I'm not, let's just keep it straightforward. Even if these shoes are too big, we try to make things fit. So we try to either fix a person, have job, family, kids, trunk. I, I give, I give, I give, I give, I give. Now I'm not saying you don't have a spouse that helps fill you because you're supposed to fill each other. You know, I talked about foundation. You're supposed to fill each other. But you feeling, when you fill each other, that person's not feeling you on the inside. They're feeling and fueling the relationship and the foundation. But what about you? What about you? Okay, so I've been given, 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 given. And then one day, I look and I'll be thinking, what have I done for me? I feel empty. I feel lonely, not lonely, alone, lonely because in those shoes, you can only wear them. Nobody can get in with the shoes with you. It's not a pair. It's not a, you know, me and you together in these shoes. You walk your own path with your own shoes. We start feeling the flop, flop of those shoes again. What I could have done in those younger years. What I could have been, what I could have accomplished, what I never really found myself. I've given to somebody, to something. I never found who I was. I just had to wear the shoes. But maybe the shoes I supposed to be walking in got a heel to. Or maybe the shoes I supposed to have been walking in is, um, a doctor, a lawyer, a scientist, a, 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 a author, an artist. The shoes I'm wearing right now is, I feel in the inside that these are not the shoes I'm supposed to be wearing. Now some of us, we just make it fit. And we wear the shoes we got. But then some of us, we miss what we didn't have because we felt those shoes just for a little while. And those shoes felt good when we was a young adult. I know these are the shoes I'm supposed to be wearing. And we miss those shoes and we think what could have been. And that, men, is that silence that you see. It's the, I'm recording. My son is here visiting. <laughs> so those shoes, right? Those, that is what we feel when 
all of a sudden, out of nowhere, we're not depressed. We just feel that we're not in the right shoes. And it doesn't reflect the person we're with right now. We can't make it go away all the time. It is a split moment sometimes. It may last a day. It may last two days. But we jump right back and start filling the shoes we have. That is strength. Because some people can't do it. They start tumbling in those shoes. They start falling over those shoes. They never get on track and learn how to feel those shoes and make them fit. They just out there just walking around aimlessly. So that's just my little spiel on the fact that sometimes ladies, we know we supposed to be wearing another pair of shoes. And maybe one day you'll find them. Or maybe one day you'll just be satisfied that you have made them shoes fit and made them yours. Okay, guys, that's it. That's my blog. Please like and subscribe and join me again on my next blog next Saturday. We're going to the mall. I feel like doing a little shopping. Why? Because I want to.